all right today we have a very interesting tutorial which is about point in time restore previously we have done restore using bark park files and now the point in time restore so let me give you a brief description what point in time restore does and why do we need it so point in time restore for azure sql database lets you recover your database to any specific move uh, moment within its backup retention period it is useful if you let's say accidentally delete some data or need to undo changes azure automatically backs up your database daily to make this possible so here as per the architecture diagram let's say we have done some deletions of table which was not required in azure sql database here uh, so I've uh, made a different box here technically it should be in the same SQL server but uh, for the uh, clarity I've just kept it outside so that it's uh, visible that is we are restoring one um, database using point in time restore so we'll be doing the validation as well um, by cross checking with the previous database and the new restore database using point in time so let's dive into this azure portal and do this hands-on all right i'm in azure portal so first let me show you um let's say this is uh, this is the same uh, example i'll give from the previous um uh, uh, videos where uh, let's say this account or product uh, uh, this 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 has 295 um, rows we have accidentally deleted some of them so i'm treating this as a reference Technically, just uh, uh, in a real life scenario, this value will be something else. Let's say I've deleted uh, five of them. It should be 290. But uh, in order to show you uh, that we, we, we are successfully able to uh, restore the database using point in time, I've just kept this, right? So let's uh, begin. I'm in the uh, home page. In the home page, uh, since we are restoring uh, previous uh, SQL database, so it will be under azure sql database so let's click here and uh, here uh, please uh, make sure uh, to select the database correct database which you want to restore so for uh, us uh, if you see the name the name goes as uh, cloud azure sql db right so this is the database let's say uh, we have deleted some of the data and now i want to uh, restore uh, the same data that is a new restore database should also contain 295 rows right uh, not 290 rows which i have accidentally let's say deleted let's um, go to uh, here cloud azure sql db and here if you look we have the restore button here on the top let's click on restore and if you look by default everything is grayed out because our restore will happen in the same subscription and resource group by default and the source uh, db whatever we have selected is also grayed out so we have um, uh, uh, the source uh, long term backup retention as well point in time since this is a point in time and it is um, used in many enterprise grade it uh, projects um, this um, point in time restore is used by database administrators so i'm demonstrating it so now let me tell you some important uh, points so here we got the earliest restore point 1503 please make sure uh, there are some uh, constraints to it you cannot restore a database before it was created let's say the database created on um, 13th of september 2025 i cannot uh, restore uh, on 10th of september because the database wasn't uh, present this original database wasn't present there right so if I try to select something like that, it will automatically um, throw error if we select it. But uh, currently, if you see, it's not allowing me to select, right? So again, also, um, if you uh, check the earliest restore point, there is a time mentioned. Now, let's say if I um, try to give any time, let, let, let me make it like from PM to AM. Let's check. If you check, see? value must be between 1303 that is this one 1503 and uh, the time uh, 14 uh, 451 
that is the current time the current latest time it should be between that so uh, as mentioned azure will warn us uh, for this we cannot even manipulate we cannot go back to 10th of september because this data database wasn't created so now uh, i need to uh, give one valid uh, time now because date is already correct it uh, uh, azure has already highlighted as what should be the values so now um, let's uh, make it from em to pm i'll uh, make it uh, maybe 4 pm now the value looks good and uh, valid now if i go down i can name the database as well um, you uh, it's a good practice if you give the date and time and underscore i'll write uh, maybe pit at point in time restore to um, uh, easily identify that this database were restored using point in time pitr right uh, let's uh, configure the uh, storage and all it should be uh, uh, what we uh, need so by default it's uh, the same basic for less demanding and dtus and it's uh, everything looks good i'm i'm good here uh, redundancy uh, we don't uh, locally redundant backup is good for us it looks good everything now uh, once uh, it looks good i'll review and create let's click on the create and wait till uh, the restored database that is pi using pitr is available once it's available we'll validating the data using sql queries let's wait for a while till our deployment gets completed so it will take around 10 to 15 minutes uh, just like it's uh, creating new database something like that all right our deployment got succeeded it took around 20 minutes this time let's go to the resource now and here as we can see the pitr um, suffix is there what i have uh, mentioned uh, now let's do the validation part i'll uh, go to the query editor and login now let's check on the right hand side i have the uh, database which uh, had 295 uh, uh, rows uh, one of them let's say uh, this one 450 uh, let me fire any one of them like first of the uh, first one let's say um, before the uh, i have uh, deleted some of the columns and now i want back 295 columns in my restored pidr database let's um, look at the uh, data whether it contains the exact same yeah i got the exact same right 295 that's what is required so now uh, let let us do one more check with address address contains 450 let's say in this uh, original database i had deleted yeah, 50 uh, rows so um uh, so uh, whether it contains 50 on uh, 450 or not here let let me do new query let me paste this i'll hit run and here again we got 450 right that's what it goes all right so let's uh, brush up what we have done today so we have successfully uh, restored a SQ, Azure SQL database using point in time restore. Let's say in original database, we have deleted some columns or altered some of the uh, data which we didn't want, and uh, uh, whatever changes was done, we need to restore it back. So, using point in time restore, we can do this. So, that's what it goes for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope you will uh, implement this if, in case of any mistakes, happen in your IT projects.